Good morning. So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to land a fakie big flip. Well, at least the easiest way for me to land a big flip. Uh, but first, let's skate. Well, that was fun, and I totally burnt the top of my head, but uh, I would say it's, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so as I was saying before, I want to go over like the easiest way that you can do a fakey big flip. At least the easiest way that I think you can do a fakey big flip. Right at the exact same spot as always. This mediocre piece of cement. So I just learned a fakie big flip like two months ago and I honestly never thought I'd be able to land it because it just seems oh a big flip that sounds really cool. Way too difficult for me to even attempt. I thought of it this way. I could do a fakie big spin and I can do a fakie varial flip. And if I put those two together, it kind of makes a fakie big flip. And this is how. With my fakie big spin, I don't really do the full rotation and then hop on my board. I'll usually, like sometimes it happens, but what I'll usually do is I'll do about a 270 rotation and then catch it and finish the rest while I'm on my board. So I'll catch the board and then finish that last little bit of rotation on like two wheels. So that's where I'm getting that from. And with a varial flip, obviously it's only 180 degrees, but if you over rotate the fakie varial flip, just a little bit, it's gonna be a very similar situation to what I'm doing with my fakey big spin. So in that case, I do the varial, kind of over rotate it a bit, and as I'm turning, I catch it on the wheels. That way I don't really have to get huge pop to do the full three flip and then turn. Let's see if I can actually do it so we can see what it looks like. That's a pretty good example right there. How I'm only trying to spin it to there and then catch it and then finish the rest. The issue with that is sometimes my foot will slip off. I won't be able to finish it. But another good part on that is I don't have to flick it as hard. I don't have to spin it as hard so I can control it better.
So to summarize, all I really did there was combine my varial kickflip and my big spin. All I'm doing is over rotating the varial kickflip a little bit and then trying to catch it. I didn't land them as cleanly as I would have liked to, but I think I still got the, the point across where I'm catching it and then finishing the rotation there. Now, it's probably not the greatest thing to do because it doesn't look as sexy, but I'm not the greatest skater in the world, so maybe eventually I'll switch to that. But right now, the way I understand it as simple as possible is doing it that way. And so far, I'm landing it decently and somewhat consistently, so that's pretty good. Thinking of it that way really helped me understand the trick and, and start landing it. So hopefully, you know, these tips will help somebody else and they'll be able to land the trick and pull it out in a game of skate. I really, really need a new shoe. <laughs> this one's fine. Just one. I'm going to start a company. It just sells one shoe. That's a good idea. I've literally only skated for like 20 minutes, but it's so hot outside that my light gray shirt is now a dark gray shirt, so that's nice. That's gonna do it for the video. See you going home, bye.